Well, hey there, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Welcome into, I'm doing a, like a weekly forecast here. This is not Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This is Sun, Sign, and North Node. So if you know where your North Node is, you can check it out. Check out this reading. Um, let's see where we go. Lots going on this week. Lots, lots, lots. We are... Um, Going back into Mercury retrograde, I got my little cheat sheet here to make sure I get it all. Uh, Mercury goes into retrograde June 17th. Welcome back. Um, summer solstice is happening on June 20th, June 21st. That is the longest day of the year um, in the northern hemisphere, shortest day of the year in the southern hemisphere. That happens to be coinciding with a can with cancer season and a cancer new moon that is an eclipse. Nothing's going on, you know, nothing's going on. It is a, um, an annular eclipse, which, which is um, zero degrees of cancer. Super powerful, it is called the ring of fire. So something needs to get completely, you know, burned away in your life. Something, so something new can rise up. All right, this is also uh, manifesting on the new moon when it's this solar eclipse um is a global energy so manifesting that which makes you feel nurtured um you know positive kind courteous mindfulness all kinds of awesome energy of positivity there be sure to pay attention to how you're speaking these days especially with mercury retrograde because you can be manifesting something that you're not intending to manifest, so just be mindful of that. All right, so if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. How are you? If you like the content I create, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. All right, let's see where we go. Let's see where we go. Sun sign and North Node. If you don't know what that is, North Node is the thing you're here to do on the planet. I teach a class in that. There's a recorded class in the link below. And the live class, the advanced class, is full this week, um, I believe. So we'll be we'll be offering some kind of more North Node stuff as we go. But look it up. Check it out. Looks like a little set of headphones. You can go on over to astro-charts. It's a site I like. I have no affiliation with them, but I really like them. And check it out. It appears on your chart. Sometimes you get a birth chart. It doesn't show up. Interestingly enough, early in May, we also moved the North Node energy for co the collective into Cancer. And so that is about coming home. Oh, wait a second. That's backwards. We moved out of Cancer into Gemini. And that, that's interesting. So we're moving from Gemini because the North Node is always in retrograde. So it's going from Cancer into Gemini. That's where we did what we did early in May. early in May. So we're in the Gemini energy. Very interesting. Gemini en energy is about choices. It's about communication. And now with Mercury in retrograde, watch out. All right. So orphaned energy here. I feel like I get that card for you guys. Here and now, you're mindfully creating something different. Time for a nap. Woo! That feels like it's been just draining to you a situation that has just been awful so this is about career and money this is a weekly look career and money so if you lost a job or if you left mm, left a career behind or just were like you know I, I need to do something different it's so draining to me I can't deal with it anymore I don't want to do this anymore so now being very much in the in the moment, you might need to take a break. Cancerians, you might need to take a break. If you have the opportunity in front of you, like your job went away, it, you know, we're not just in a situation where, okay, where this one company is laying off or there's a, we're in recession and other stuff, but this is about swaths of types of jobs going away. So it's not like you could get that same job at another company. There's no longer that job. So if you have the if you have the op this opportunity, you can look at it like a, an opportunity to either retrain yourself for something new or just to take a break. Boy, that was really this happened to me after I left um, 
the news business. I went into marketing uh, 2008, the whole, remember that? Everything imploded. And within three months, I lost my job as a director of marketing or director of client service in a, in a marketing agency. The divorce, I got divorced and I sold my house back to my ex-husband. So like, whoop, my life just went away. That was a tower moment for me. And for a while, I just slept. I couldn't do anything else. So seriously. So this is the walking away from the thing. Now this could be the future for some of you. This could have already happened for some of you. Okay. Walking away from a thing that needed to be gone from your life. If this is happening in the future, this is the, what the ring of fire is about. Something needs to be eradicated, leveled, raised. Okay. Here you are. Hierophant. Situation. Healing. That's Taurus and Aquarian energy. Opportunity to move forward fast. So take a nap right now because things are coming and it's going to be fast. So if you have a chance to just rest, I would do it. The universe is bringing in something beautiful for you. I'll talk you through this in a second. Knight of Cups down here. Emperor. Wow. King of Wands. So it's almost like you're trading in a... a um, it's like you're trading in a boy for a man. Okay, I love the King of Wands. Don't get me wrong here. But the Major Arcana is another level up. So you could have been um, in a situation where, I mean, be very careful. This is very inspirational energy, but it's also very controlling energy. Okay, so you, Hierophant. And you could be moving into uh, healing work, something that moves away from a job, a J-O-B, a normal job, and moving into something that's more you. So this was like, okay, this is my director of client service, and now I'm in uh, doing uh, tarot on YouTube. <laughs> that's kind of like the shift, okay? So for you, this is what's happening. Leaving, an old, leaving something behind that um, it looked good to everybody else. But man, it sucked. It was draining, difficult. You might have been um, in a position of power or in a position of um, authority. And now this is just such a different thing. You're being inspired to shift into something that is more of a healing. Because a Hierophant, you can uh, kind of see that there's, you know, this hierarchical, very masculine energy, dividing people, keeping people separate, separate from you, right? They're down here, you're up here. And you might have stayed too long at that because um, it got blown up for you. So uh, in my agency, they got rid of the entire level, the entire management level of directors. They got rid of all of us. One fell swoop. Because it was an extra layer, of, in their view, of management that was unnecessary in that climate. It was necessary before, but they're changing what they were doing. So that was an unnecessary level. Not that the people were unnecessary. It was just that that function was unnecessary. So things are going to get moved forward. I, I also feel like maybe in the past you had this um, real entrepreneurial idea or flair you might have ignored that and stayed at a job. And so now there is a new opportunity here. The universe is saying, yes, 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 yes. This is good. What's coming in is good. So even though you got blown out, what the opportunity is is for you to walk the path of heart. Walk toward Ace of Cups. Oh, it's not in this deck. Interesting. Um, walk toward your heart, what you want instead of what looks good on a resume, okay? Being very authentic, real, opening yourself to something brand new. Now this, this um, emperor over here, that's another very masculine energy. Please clarify the emperor for me. Magician, temperance, wow. Are you kidding me? Okay, so 
this is a pro this is a situation and that's not a problem it's it's like a you might be going toward another job that's like this one okay that's like that that is hierarchical that is um authoritative it's almost like but it's super draining don't forget about this it's super draining so if you are just gonna and that's what i was gonna do just look for the same kind of job you may want to move into something that's um, uh, of a healing nature okay all right because there is something coming across your path look at this wow wow moving into being a guru there could be a teacher coming your way so magician you have all the skill set you need the universe is got your back okay to take this leap into this new space something brand new right the old way is gone world look at all these major arcana cards your work is um going to be illuminating to other people you're going to be you could be teaching other people about what you do or teach just as a teacher just flat out being a teacher okay you could be shining the light on an old industry uh, remember I said moving into Gemini away from cancer so something that was uh, very nurturing now moving into Gemini Gemini is the reporter Gemini is the one who digs for information okay your old industry could be um, the reason it's gone is because it could have been very um, unfair to people it could have been very it could they could have lied to you they could have right and so you're being asked here as you move into this new thing you could be somebody who is like a, a whistleblower on your old industry or your old company or something like that it was okay so this uh, what happened in 2008 was the banking crisis remember that that the banks um, all got um, fell off a cliff because they did something they were they were removed from regulation and they um, gave people a lot of loans for homes and for businesses with no foundational collateral no nothing and so people didn't pay those loans back and you know it was it was they were like junk bonds essentially Michael Milken stuff from the 90s 80s whatever um, there was no foundation there there was no there there okay and so so you, when you do that long enough it's gonna blow up because it's unsustainable all right so your old industry or your old job um, is no longer going to be there because it was unsustainable. There was something about it. And um, in my old agency, I got promoted three times over the course of a year and a half. And so when I got promoted, my dollar per hour was much bigger as a director than it was as a, as a senior manager. That's how they did things in that agency. And they charged the client based on the dollar per hour of that job description. And so I'm still doing the work. It still takes me the same amount of time, but it costs the client a lot more because I'm a higher level person, right? Because they're charging the client a lot more for me. That's unsustainable, right? It was unsustainable. They should have someone who's in a manager role do the work, not a director, right? The director has a different function. So they were like, oh, I see. This is why the, this uh, client bill is so much bigger than it was before unsustainable right the clients can be like why are you charging me triple for what I used to pay so that's something here there's some kind of thing here about that that the uh, old model or the old business or the old work you did is unsustainable and it's being leveled because there's something much better there's a different way of doing it so you might be in the position to um, be bringing forward the kind of work you used to do, but in a new way, you're going to have to um, uh, you're going to have to take a break here. All right, because you're going to be called upon. So North Node, look at your North Node, um, either in Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. <laughs> we can talk about that more. But look at your North Node and what does that mean for you in terms of embracing the new energy. All right, embracing the new way of doing things. It's not, it's a, it's a, it's a more feminine, more healing. You may just blow off your entire industry altogether. But what something here you're being called to do is healing. 
And I feel like it might be um, blowing the whistle on your old, uh, either the way of it's been done or the way it was um, billing clients or something about it needs healing. And you're being called to do that. So I would do your nap, take a nap, take a break if you can. And um, because you're going to be called upon to do something that is innovative. Don't just go back to the same job, same type of job. You're going to look at that job now as a different, as an opportunity um, to bring forward either the skill set or the way they were doing it or something like that. Charlie. Okay. <laughs> He's telling me this video has gone on too long. All right. Oh my God, you have to see him. Oh, this is Charlie. This is Charlie, everybody. Yeah. So if you're looking for the extended, the link is below, right, Charlie? Yes, indeed. Oh my God. Oh my God. You're so cute. All right. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Charlie.